When you're threading your sewing machine, there are instructions in your manual and you've got diagrams on the sewing machine as well. So it's really very, very simple. But I've got some tips for you as well. Always, always use a good quality thread. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, it'll be stronger. The strands of your thread will be longer. So therefore, the garment or the project you're making is going to have stronger seams and could last longer as well. And secondly, a cheap thread tends to be quite fibrous. You can almost see um, the fluff on the thread. Um, that could build up inside your sewing machine which won't cause any major damage but it could mean a little bit of extra cleaning for you when you choose your thread if you're not sure whether it's strong or not give it a pull if you have a thread that snaps easily in your fingers it's going to snap easily in your work and in your machine as well and when you thread your machine Try and make sure that your thread is coming off the reel in the same direction of the reel. So you, you can tell which way around it is, it's the right way up, and that's the direction that the thread's going to come off. And that'll help to stop the thread tangling while you're sewing. I need to fill the bobbin up first on this machine there. So I've taken the bobbin out of the casing. There are little holes at the side of the bobbin. And the idea is that you thread your thread through the hole to, oh, I don't, I tend to just hold onto the side and wrap my thread around a few times just to secure it. Okay, and then we need to put our spool of thread onto the spool holder at the back of the machine with a spool cap on the end. And then we're going to take the thread all around these tensions. And these are really important because this will be the correct tension for the thread to be wound onto your machine. So again, follow the diagrams. So we're going to go around here around that little bit that, oh, no, that way that looks like a screw and then back down again and when you come to the, the bobbin winder here it needs to be with the thread coming off the top of the reel push it on and then flick this over when you flick over the the spool um, that will disengage the, um, the gears, so the needle's not going to be going up and down while you're winding your bobbin. And you'll also see on the screen there's actually a picture of a bobbin that looks like two C's back to front, so you know that that's going to be the function that it's going to perform. Then either put your foot on the foot pedal, or if you're not using the foot pedal, press the start button and simply fill up the bobbin. When you have the amount of thread on there that you think you need, or the bobbin's full, you're simply going to stop, flick this back over, as you won't be able to sew, and then we'll take the bobbin off, unwind it from that screw-like thing, and I'll just snip off the thread at the side there. So let's undo this. Okay, now the bobbin, when it goes into the bobbin casing underneath the needle, needs to be I liken it to a letter E, so the thread's coming off the bottom of the, um, the bobbin. There is a diagram on the lid of the bobbin casing so that um, you're not going to get that wrong. Now when you drop this inside, hold on to the end of the thread and just drop it down. And there's a gap in the groove of the metalwork inside there. So hold on to the bobbin so that the thread just doesn't sp um, spill out. And then you're going to pull this piece of thread towards you and to the left and it goes underneath the groove um, inside that casing. That's your tension. You'll never need to adjust this on the bottom bobbin, but if you don't have the tension um, kind of in, in, in force underneath here, that bobbin will just start throwing lots and lots of thread out on the top of your work. That's quite key as well. well. We'll talk about that when we talk about tensions in another video. But basically, if you've got lots and lots of thread on top of your work, it's coming from the bottom. If you've got lots of thread underneath your work, it's coming from the top. And it just means that the tensions aren't engaged. So I'm going to leave that with the thread hanging out for just one moment while we thread up the rest of the machine. So again, my thread's on the back there. It's a little bit long, so I'll just spin that around a bit to take the thread back. And then we're going to go underneath this hook we're coming down the front through the gap here, following the arrows back up to the side. Wind the hand wheel at the side of the machine until you can see the take up lever here, hook your thread around there and come back down again. And then there's one little hook, you probably can't see it there, just on the top of the needle that you need to put the thread through. Now at this point, I can pull the thread through freely. So what I need to do is to put the, the presser foot down. 
There we go. Um, and then the thread will be engaged in the tension, so I can feel that pulling. Now I know that it's threaded correctly. The needle threader is a lever on the side of the machine here, and with a needle in the uppermost position, pull that needle threader down and hold it. Now this is putting a tiny little hook right through the eye of the needle. So when you take your thread underneath the hook on the left hand side and across those two little prongs at the front, that tiny hook grabs onto the thread and pulls it through the back of the needle. Take the presser foot back up again. I'm going to thread the thread through the foot, hold it, and then the hand wheel on the side, again, turn it towards you. Never ever turn that away from you because it can damage the gears inside your sewing machine. So I'm going to turn this towards me, holding onto the thread still. And you can see that looping around the bobbin until it pulls the thread up from the side here. So if you can't reach it, use your quick unpick or something to just pull that thread out. There we go. Put the cap back on. Let's cut off that excess thread on the side here. <laughs> and then we're ready to sew. <laughs>